Glossary for Lesson 12. Amulets. An amulet is a magical charm made for a specific purpose. Amulets can be very simple or extremely complex. A simple form of an amulet is the famous rabbit's foot keychain. Another example is the practice of pressing a flower from a special event with the intention of giving the event success or permanence, or stimulating continuation of the positive emotions stemming from it. Ascetic Ascetics use physical self-denial or pain to stimulate spiritual growth. Often they do so in the belief that the physical world is bad, an aberration from a purely spiritual existence which they believe would be better. In Wicca, however, we believe that the physical world is the expression of spirit and is good and holy in its own right. We do not condemn asceticism, and we recognize that it has a place for those who need or choose it but we do not believe that it is necessary to reject the physical in order to embrace the spiritual. Higher Self The higher self is that part of a person or other being that is usually referred to as its spirit or soul. In Wicca, we strive to be more and more closely aligned to our higher selves so that we may work from the highest part of ourselves for the highest good. Mechanically speaking, the lower self constitutes those parts of our being of which we are automatically aware. Our physical self, our body. Our emotional self, our feelings. Our mental self, our ability to think and reason. Our higher self, which requires more work to access, includes our astral self, our ability to manifest things magically. Our soul the accumulation of the experiences of our many lifetimes. Our monadic self, the part of ourselves that is at one with day, yet can experience separateness. And our divine self, which is our ultimate point of connection to day, for all that is. Keys. Keys, once again, are items, ordinary or extraordinary, that we use to stimulate the shift in consciousness that is necessary for the use of magic. By shifting consciousness, we connect to our higher self and work from the higher levels of our being, which are free from the blockages that often hold back our lower self. Occlusions Occlusions are the markings and mottling within a stone that give it individual character. Like the wrinkles on a human brain, occlusions are developed as the stone takes on its individual character. Though an occluded stone varies from what is considered archetypically perfect for its type, these variations are often the very thing that makes the stone ideal for individual working. Stone Spirit Each thing that exists, no matter how inanimate it may appear, is a manifestation of deity, goddess, that has taken shape through the seven plays of existence, and consequently has many levels to his existence. Just as is true for humans, it is also true for stones. And just as with humans, the stone's higher self is a clear expression of the soul and of its ultimate connection to the spirit. Therefore, in working with stones and crystals, remember to connect with its higher self and you will have greater success. Talismans. When a natural object, such as a stone or plant, is used in its natural state or with minor augmentation with the intention of producing a metaphysical effect on or for the user, it is called a talisman. Talismans are used to bring luck, to stimulate success or prosperity, and for many other reasons. A common example of the use of talismans is finding and carrying a lucky stone. Another example is framing the first dollar a person's business earns. Vortex. A vortex is an energy center that exists naturally as a nexus point in the Earth's energy, or that has been specially created through magical means. For example, the energy construct known as the magic circle is an artificially created energetic vortex used to augment the psychic or magical abilities of those within it. Because the energy in a vortex is especially strong, it will add power to any working performed within or through it. For this reason, natural vortex points are usually considered sacred and are often used as worship centers.